You public servants? Let's see your, uh, your right hand, please. Are you public employees? I need to see your right Are you hand public employees? All right, how's it going, sir? What's your name? What's your name? Deputy Sparza, what's your name, sir? I'm just going to step out here real quick. All right, just don't get too close. Okay? All right, cool. Can you uh, drop your cigarette, please? Oh, no, this isn't a weapon, sir. I'm just going to back away from you if you feel unsafe. Okay. This is my dwell this is my dwelling. I actually live here. I'm just going to step around you guys like this. Is that all right with you? Excuse me, deputy. I'm just going to come around you. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, Westall. Oh, this is my ho this is my home. I live here. <clears throat> so what's going on with you and your dad? <clears throat> Are you a public servant, sir? Are you a public servant? Are you a public employee? Have you ever been treated for mental illness before? <clears throat> Sir, are you a public servant? Have you ever taken any sex? Sir, are you a public servant? Like are you going to identify yourself to me? Ever been hospitalized? Do you have three forms of identification? I need to see your badge, a business card, and a photo identification if you'd like to contract with me, sir. I do not believe that I have a contract with you, and I'm obligated to answer any of your questions. If you'd like to contract with me, we can do so. If you provide me three forms of ID, I'd love contract to. Contract with you? Is that what you're trying to do with me, sir? Are you trying to contract so with me? Said, what's contract with you? What's that mean? I don't know. What, what are you trying to do with me, sir? Are you operating as a public official right now? Are you a public servant? What do you think? I'm asking you a direct question, yes or no. The master asks the questions and the servant answers them. You are Wouldn't that be correct? No, no. The master asks the questions and the servant answers them. I don't work for you, sir. I don't answer your questions, Sergeant. You answer mine. So I'm asking you a question. Are you a public servant? You are. You are a public servant, aren't you? I actually have a contract with you and your principal, which would be the sergeant or the sheriff who is a public employee and publicly elected official of the county of Los Angeles. The people, collectively, citizens, elected him to represent us to keep the peace. So he has delegated his authority to each one of you individuals, I'm assuming, who are operating in an official capacity as a legal entity of which I'm not obligated to contract with unless I choose to do so. And I don't choose to do so, sir. So unless you have three forms of ID right now, I don't even believe that you're in your uniform, okay? And honestly, I'm feeling really threatened right now. I would appreciate it if you'd step away from me because I see three or four armed people with armed with deadly weapons and I feel threatened. So would you please just back away from me because I'm at my dwellings. This is my house. I live here. Okay, so would you please just back up, Sergeant? Nope. We're not on your property. Okay. Well, I feel threatened right now, and you're actually armed with deadly weapons, so this is aggravated, everything you're doing right now, because this is actually intimidation. You're attempting to intimidate me from exercising my constitutionally protected rights. Which would be a violation of what? Any of you guys know? Title 18, you want to read it to you? Why don't you tell us? Okay, cool. <clears throat> that would be a title, a violation of Title 18 of the United States Court of Law, or C United States Code of Law. Okay? Title 18, Chapter 13, Subsection 241, 242. Right here. <clears throat> Part 1. Chapter 13, Subsection 241 of the United States Code of Law. If two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, intimidate any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, or possession, or district in the free exercise or enjoyment of any right or privilege secured to him by the Constitution, or the laws of the United States, or having so exercised them, if two or more persons go in disguise on a highway or the premises of another, which is what it really seems to me like what you guys are doing right now, you're on, you're on the premises of another, acting under a color of law. Does anyone know what color of law is? Anyone? Sergeant, I know you do. Come on. What's color of law? Color of authority? You guys don't know what color of law is? Why don't you tell us? Color of law is where you're in an official uniform right now. You're acting as a public employee. You're wearing a uniform of the state, acting with the authority of the state. And therefore, when you breach your duty as a public official... <gasps> now your bonds become up for grabs for people like me to go and file claims against you in the county. I go and get your badge numbers and I go and I write a claim against the county and I say that, hey, this public employee came to my house with a gun and they intimidated me from exercising. 
I'm told you right now. You, I feel intimidated. We're not brandishing weapons at you. Uh, well, you. Uh, there's four armed men We're not them. and women who refuse to produce three forms of ID upon my request. What three times now? Do you guys have, are you guys public servants or public employees? You won't even identify yourselves. I don't care if you're wearing a badge and a uniform. I can go get a fucking costume and wear the same shit and walk around with a gun. Oh my god, I got a shiny medallion and a gun. So what? That doesn't mean anything. You have to have three forms of ID. The Supreme Court said that, right? Here we go. Shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 10 years or both.